I affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office as set out in Schedule 4 to the Northern Ireland Act 1998. I now ask Martin McGuinness, as Deputy First Minister, designate to make the affirmation in the form prescribed. Mr McGuinness. I affirm the terms of the Pledge of Office as set out in Schedule 4 to the Northern Ireland Act of 1998. I now confirm that the Right Honourable Dr Ian Paisley and Mr Martin McGuinness has affirmed the terms of the Pledge of Office, having taken up office as First Minister and Deputy First Minister in accordance with the Northern Ireland St Andrews Agreement Act 2006. Chair talks with me. <laughs> well, actually, I will, as a matter of fact. It's awesome. It's rather fine premises you inhabited for far too long. Nice place. Oh, yeah. The seat that is the old uh, seat of all the. From the depths of my heart, I can say to you today that I believe Northern Ireland has come to a time of peace, a time when hate will no longer rule. How good it will be to be part of a wonderful healing in this province. Institutions of policing has been a critical test. We're all aiming to build a Northern Ireland in which all can live together in peace, being equal under the law and equally subject to the law. I welcome the pledge we have all taken to that effect today. That is the rock foundation upon which we must build and we intend to build. From South Africa, from the Basque Country and many other, we will continue to rely on that support as we strive towards a society moving from division and disharmony to one which celebrates our diversity and is determined to provide a better future for all of our people. As for Ian Paisley, I want to wish you all the best as we step forward towards the greatest yet most exciting challenge of our lives. Look back and we see centuries pockmarked by conflict, hardship, even hatred among the people of these islands. Look forward today and we see the chance at last to escape those heavy chains of history, to make history anew, not as a struggle between warring traditions, but as a search for the future, shared held in common and bound by goodwill and peace. That is, in truth, what this process has achieved. But the people of Ireland know that this would not have come about without the commitment and dedication of one person in particular, uh, Prime Minister Tony Blair. This was not a process that promised 
quick or easy rewards. But he has been a true friend of peace and a true friend of Ireland. And for that, we express our heartfelt thanks. Thank you for that. Thank you.